What if there's something fundamentally wrong? What if there's something fundamentally wrong with me? What if I'm bad? Okay. And what we're really doing there, and what I'm suggesting right there, is to allow the sensation to be its whole self. To stop resisting it or trying to make it better, or fixing it or jumping around it. To just let it be. Okay, so be it. And you might notice the sensation coming forward to be met. Maybe you feel a guilt in your throat or a nausea in your belly or a tension in the solar plexus. Okay, I'm bad. So be it. Okay, I'm wrong. There's something wrong with me. I knew it. And you might notice some relaxed openness or a breath or a sigh of relief to not have to fight that anymore. And it actually loosens up the grip of the mind to not conclude, I'm bad, for sure I'm bad. That's something that you don't feel. It's just a thought in your head. But to actually be in touch with the sensation that it's pointing to, to actually be willing to be with, I'm bad, to be willing to be with the sensation, oh, there's something wrong with me. That's a returning to love. That's a returning to yourself. That's committing to yourself. That's going, okay, no matter what, I want the real. No matter what, I want what's real. And I'm willing to look deep inside. And what I notice when there's an allowing of any state that there's resistance to, like, okay, I'm bad. Okay, I'm the worst. Okay, I caused someone's pain, whatever brings up the guilt or the I'm bad, I'm awful, I'm, something's wrong with me, whatever brings that up, just allowing it. It's a returning to life, returning to the flesh. And the ideas soften to where there's no more conclusion of I'm bad. You're just directly with the sensation, directly with the actual feeling of discomfort or lack or wrongness or badness. You're just right with it, holding it, holding it tenderly, being so sweet. Just being with is a huge step towards yourself, not away from. And these places of wrongness or badness that's what they need that's what they longed for when everything else went away and we tend to do the same thing we tend to try to avoid everything that brings us into this spot and we kind of go hands up okay something's horribly wrong something's horribly wrong with me okay ah and we just go right to the sensation that that's pointing to. Letting it unravel and unwind. And we're handing it over. We're handing over our argument with the mind. And allowing love in. And allowing the idea of wrongness and the idea of badness to soften and release. by just going directly towards it and really looking into it. Is there anything called I'm bad with this sensation? Would you bet that that sensation equals I'm bad or equals something's wrong with me? Or is that a conclusion, an abstraction that you have to actually leave yourself to go up into the head to make. This is about really being slowed down and investigating. Oh, it's just a sensation. Really, really convincing. It's just a sensation. And sensations are manageable. Sensations are 
healable. Sensations are meetable. Sensations are life. Sensations are now. They're, they're alive. They're here. You can make contact with them. You can work with them. And through the making contact, they heal. They release. The truth seeps into them when we're not resisting. We're allowing the divine to make these conclusions. Let yourself, let the divine judge you, which it doesn't do. It's like stop judging yourself. Stop condemning yourself to being wrong and bad. Let the idea just be there. We don't have to be scared of ideas. And then you're free, really. Those are the core beliefs that we're really run by, actually, until we're not, until we see, oh, all those core beliefs are just wind, wind in the air, compared to this roaring light, roaring peace and depth that we are. <laughs>